At the University of Stuttgart we are doing research on electric aircraft since 1996 because at that time we built a solar powered aircraft named Ikare and since that time we are working on that item and we are working on environmentally friendly aircraft and very economic aircraft and we took up the chance to create an aircraft for the Green Flight Challenge. We started up to design this aircraft in 2006 because this should be a fuel cell powered aircraft and we told the project was named Hydrogenius. We would like to integrate a fuel cell to create a very efficient aircraft, environmentally friendly and so on. But on the highest level of Mercedes-Benz, this was a fuel cell from Mercedes-Benz coming, they decided not to provide a fuel cell for aviation use. And therefore we stopped a little bit the project and thought over the whole things and then came up the CAFI competition. And we were thinking, okay, CAFI, this is a great thing and now even we could fulfill the requirements of CAFI only with batteries. And therefore we converted the aircraft to a pure electric aircraft powered by batteries and our calculations showed that we can fulfill the requirements only if we integrate batteries and then we switch the name, it's now named eGenius because there is no fuel cell inside. One of our technical sponsors was one of the other competitors, the Pipistrel team, um, and they let us use the molds for their outer wings and canopy. You'll notice the windshield's exactly the same on these two aircraft, which is kind of interesting. So it's part Pipistrel. Most of the other parts are custom made. We're using lithium ion, in fact, laptop batteries, big, about 600 pounds of them in banks, 450 volts to power a 60 kilowatt direct drive electric motor. That's about 75 horsepower. The propeller feathers for gliding, which means it turns into the wind for low drag. What you need, for, especially for this competition, is really a crew which is wor uh, working well together. Uh, it was a pity that we had not more time uh, to, to be. Now we are ready to make it much better. <laughs> I hope we did it well, but of course during the training uh, we, we learned a lot. Abadine is the brand of choice for pilots who want innovative, easy to use avionics. And the new IFD 540 GPS Navcom sets a new standard for simplicity in communication and LPV navigation. As a slide-in replacement for existing 530 series navigators and with a highly intuitive touchscreen control, the IFD 540 makes it much easier to access the information you want when you want it, reducing head downtime and making flying more enjoyable. Finally, you have a choice, and the choice is easy. Avidine. This plane has a behavior more or less like a normal plane, but at the same time it's a glider due to the drag reduction that the people they build it made. And of course the better a uh, plane is, the more it looks like a glider. <laughs> that is evident. It's not as different as one can think because you have in a normal plane your fuel, you have to look for your fuel if you don't want that the prop is stopping at the moment because you did not look at your energy, it's just another form of energy. On the other hand, of course, there's a little bit you have to verify the systems because the temperature of the battery, you have the temperature of a motor as well, you have to see of the electronic, which the controller, which is is directing the motor so there are some systems to verify that are probably a little bit more than a normal plane or we are not as familiarized actually as we are with, with normal planes. Today we can fly with this aircraft maximum four hours and maximum about 400 kilometers that means 250 miles or something like, like that and I think this is not efficient to go to the market with such an airplane. But this will improve and we should make the research work today that the companies can develop airplanes like this and I think this is the right thing we should do. The electric motor is something very reliable. I think with the development of electric cars and uh, the mass production of batteries, these planes, they will be safer than we have now. As well, if you look for the prices of fuel nowadays, which are going up, electricity is less expensive actually. That's the reason I am 
sure that we will see in the next 10, 20 years a lot of electric planes and this is really something we are here on the border of the future uh, and we see it here and I'm very happy to be part of this uh, this uh, team and to be one in one of the most advanced electric plane of the world. <laughs> Welcome to the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Real-time, 24-7 online audio and video programming, where aviation has been getting updated for over a decade. Distributing over 11,000 stories, features, audio and video programs every year. Only ANN covers aviation and aerospace with this much depth, insight and expertise. Check us out on the web at aero-news.net. It feels, it feels quite good to to have this air, uh, this pro project airborne, and here in America, and we solve all problems we had. Uh, so this is a very good experience. It's renewed my belief that you can make a heavy, fast electric aircraft. And there's no doubt in my mind that in somewhere 20, 30 years, all the light aircraft will be electric. Look at the airfield, you see every airfield is oriented in east-west direction and uh, besides uh, the airfield you see those hangars and at a minimum one roof of the hangars is oriented to the south. Therefore you can bring on the roof some solar cells, charge up the batteries for flight of the next day and I'm convinced that uh, it will be possible to do the recreational flying in the future only with renewable energies. This will be possible and we are very happy and proud about this to show that it is possible. And the real winner of this competition, I think so, is the green world and the blue planet. And therefore thanks to NASA and CAFE for this excellent competition because only the competition brought us here and motivated us to design this airplane.